In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the fastest ways to get rid of knee pain when you play tennis. We're working on something called the femoral nerve, which is the nerve that carries information from the brain to the quads and to the hip flexors. When this nerve gets stuck to stuff, it can cause a lot of tension and tightness in the quads and hip flexors, which leads to pain in the knee. So learning how to tension it and mobilize it is one of the fastest ways you can get rid of pain. If your knee hurts, do it. The pain normally goes away pretty quickly. But if you work on it regularly, hopefully you're going to be able to prevent pain from coming back so you can play without pain all the time. I love this drill, it was a lifesaver for me. I hope you love it too. If you do, if you find this helpful, hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay, so here's the setup for the femoral nerve glide. As you can see, I've got something soft on the ground. I've just used a towel to protect my knee a little bit and I'm in this half kneeling position. What we're gonna do is tilt our pelvis back. So think of the pelvis like that. Tilting it back is tucking the tail under and trying to get a little bit of tension on the quad. So my tail is sticking out there. I'm tucking my tail under to hopefully create a little bit of tension. If that doesn't give you any tension on the front of your leg, you're going to lean forwards or translate, move your pelvis forwards, but still trying to hold this pelvic tilt. Remember, we're working on a nerve, so you're not going to go for maximal level of tension. Just a, a kind of three, four out of tension is all we're after. Now, once we've found the tension, so for me, it's right there. I'm going to hold this pelvic tilt and I'm just going to bring the head forwards like so. I'm going to do that four or five times. And as I do that, I should notice a slight increase in tension, only very slight, or maybe just kind of a, a whirring movement feeling in there. So just four or five times, just to tension this femoral nerve. The next thing I'm gonna do is to round my back, my lower back, and lean to the side. So it'll look like this. Still got this backward pelvic, or posterior pelvic tilt, still got the tension, and then I'm rounding from my lower back, and leaning away from the side that I'm working on. Rounding from my lower back, leaning away from the side that I'm working on. Okay, so we've got those two different movements. The first movement is just gonna make sure things are moving correctly in and around the neck and through the spinal cord. The second movement is really to make sure that things aren't stuck in and around the lumbar plexus in the area where this nerve comes away from the spinal cord. But by working on those regularly, it's gonna make a real big difference and you can probably instantly reduce pain if you've got knee pain. Now, I'm gonna show you it quickly on the side just so you can see how long it takes when I'm not talking. So I found my tension, posterior tilt. Four reps there and then four reps. Like so, really simple. Okay, that was it, nice and simple. If your knee starts hurting on court, do that drill. It's normally gonna get rid of the pain, but the best way to use it is as a preventative measure. Do it on a regular basis as part of your warm-ups and cool-downs to keep pain away. I've got another video that's gonna be around here somewhere showing you how to do some knee mobility. The combination of knee mobility and working on the nerves is one of the best things you can possibly do to prevent knee pain when you play. So make sure you check that one out as well. Hopefully you've liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you've got any friends that play tennis that might not know about this channel, send this video to them. There's a lot of people that struggle with pain and there's simple things that you can do to make it go away. If you've got any questions, leave them down below. If there's anything that you would like to learn about, issues that you've got on court, I'd love to help you, so let me know.